What's good, Kotaku? Gather around the cauldron, cozy gamers, because there's a new must-play life sim on the market, and its name is Potion Permit. The game starts you off on a train to your new life, just like every life sim ever. Using your skills as a chemist, you've been assigned to find some sort of cure for a mystery sickness that ails the mayor's daughter. At first, the townsfolk of Moonsbury all kind of hate you because you work for the government, especially the town's local Dr. Delph, Mateo. But with the help of your trustworthy and always loving pooch, eventually you start earning everyone's trust by collecting resources, fixing up the town, and curing the townsfolk with your concoction. Overall, Potion Permit does a good job at presenting a wide variety of different tasks for you to accomplish, but keeping them in a format that isn't overwhelming. The combat is simple, but satisfying, considering it is a life sim. The real meat of the game, it's potion brewing, makes for a rewarding challenge and never really feels stale. Plus, the game is filled with some wonderful characters, especially the local pirate, Liano. Maybe my One Piece fandom is showing, but I'm a sucker for a powerful pirate woman. Potion Permit lets you build bonds with everyone on the island, numbering around 30 unique inhabitants. Like so many other games in the genre, it has a gift-giving mechanic. For most life sims, you gotta learn what a character likes in order to give them the right gift. For Potion Permit, though, you only have the option to give a gift that is universally loved by everyone. This somewhat takes away from the experience of actually getting to know the whole town. Gift Fisherman Willie an octopus in Stardew Valley, and it makes sense that he'd love it, while also adding characterization to his persona. Obviously, fish guys love sea stuff. You lose out on some of that when everyone loves the same thing and you only have one option. Additionally, the in-game teleport mechanic is kind of broken, sending you off to a random out-of-bounds location. Since many quests have time restrictions, it can be really frustrating if you get stuck. The game also suffers sometimes from frame pauses. They're not a huge deal, but it can be annoying nonetheless. Even with these technical hiccups, Potion Permit is still as addictive and cozy as any life sim out there. It'll still suck you in and keep you busy for hours on end. Do you have the urge for some alchemy? Let us know in the comments below. For more gaming coverage, hit up Kotaku.com.